When I started studying Japanese, I knew I wanted to get a lot of input, and podcasts are a great way to do that because you can just put them on and you can do the cooking, the cleaning, you can go walk around, exercise, whatever, and you can keep listening to Japanese. So today I'm going to introduce about 30 podcasts because everyone has different tastes, and you might like some of these, you might not like some of these. So I'm going to put them in groups. I'm going to try to introduce them all as quickly as possible so I don't take too much of your time and you can go back to studying Japanese. So I'm going to start with beginner podcasts and then I'm going to progress into more like intermediate level. And then finally at the end, I'm going to introduce a native level podcast. So if you're feeling like you want to jump straight to native level one, you can use a timestamp and have a look. But personally, even though I usually listen to a lot of native level podcasts, Uh, podcast, I still go back and listen to a lot of easier ones too, because I find that sometimes you can pick up on some tiny nuances or grammar points when people are speaking a bit more slowly and a bit more easily that you might not pick up when you're listening to those native level ones. But if you want to jump to those, you can use the timestamp to do so. So, first off, if you've tried looking for Japanese podcasts already, you've probably heard of this guy called Teppe. And Teppe、uh, originally had a podcast called Nihongo Kon Teppe. Because he was studying Spanish and there was a Spanish podcast called、uh, Espanol con Juan, you know, in Spanish, con is with, as far as、I'm, I know. And、uh, he just decided to copy that name and he called his Nihongo con Tepe. So it might be a bit confusing. You might think, is this in Spanish? It's not, it's all in Japanese.、Um, he occasionally uses some like English in kind of like,、uh, like he uses like a lot of like katakana words to try to help out a bit. But it's mostly,、uh, it's all in Japanese. But it's more of a beginner level. So if you're starting out, it's quite a good one to listen to. And if you're like really, really a beginner, if you're really just starting out and you don't know like any Japanese yet, he even has one called、uh, a beginner podcast. And that really is like beginner, beginner. So he's got like a regular one, which is already fairly easy. And then he's got、uh, this beginner one, which is even more easy. And then he does a conversation one with a woman called Noriko who lives in North, Northern Ireland. And、uh, she also has her own podcast as well, which is called Learn Japanese with Noriko or something like that. I'll put a picture of it here somewhere. And two other easier conversation style podcasts like this that you could check out there's one called Nihongo Zatsudan, and that's a、uh, husband and wife. And there's also another one called Easy Japanese Podcast, which is a very easy name to remember. And both of those are like a man and a woman, two couples, and they are just talking about sort of everyday topics in like fairly easy Japanese. So, one that personally I've listened to quite a lot, it's called Let's Talk Japanese.、Uh, it's by a guy called Tomo, and he talks about all different topics, and he also usually grades his podcast. So, he usually says, This is N3 level, this is N2 level, this is N1 level or something, you know, he goes with those JLPT standards. And as a teacher,、um, I think he probably knows kind of what,、uh, what those levels really mean, like which words he's using fit into those exam grades. And another one, which is just one guy talking, which would be good for beginners, it's called Real Life Japanese with Kaichi. And he、um, introduces a lot of the vocabulary he's going to use at the beginning. So during the podcast, he's just talking freely, but at the beginning, He says, Oh,、um, I think what he does is he records the podcast and then he goes back and picks up some words that he thought might be difficult and he introduces them at the beginning. And sometimes he uses a bit of English to、uh, translate them as well.、Uh, personally, I haven't listened to his podcast very much because I don't like the music he uses. I'm quite fussy about music and he uses kind of a bit of a dance kind of song at the beginning and I find it a little bit annoying and I just don't listen to it very much. But the style of his podcast is pretty good for beginners, so check that one out. And if you want to listen to a woman talking by herself, then I've got four podcasts for you that are quite similar, but they're all very good in their own ways.、Uh, but just to make this a bit quicker, I'm going to lump them up into one group. So there's one called Nihongo Te, there's one called Akane Teki Nihongo, there's one called Sayuri Saying, and there's one called Kotsu Kotsu Nihongo with Mizuki. And the four of them are kind of similar. Like I said, check them out because they're all obviously special in their own way. But all four of these are usually episodes about 10 minutes, and they're usually quite fixed on one topic. So they don't sort of go off topic like some other podcasts. They're like, today's topic is, for example, wagashi, something like Japanese sweets, and they just stay on that topic. 
um, and yeah they're quite focused and like for that reason they're quite easy to understand. If you want to like hear more conversations, Sayuri Singh also has a YouTube channel that's very good where she has conversations with people and she picks up like different vocabulary and phrases so Today I'm talking about podcasts, but yeah, that's a good YouTube channel as well. And someone with a similar style is Miku Real Japanese Podcast. Uh, she has a podcast where she talks for about 10 minutes or so um, about some particular topic, and she's usually quite focused on that topic. And then she also has a YouTube channel too, where she sometimes does more conversation style videos. So as I said, those ones are quite fixed on the topic, which can be good if you're starting out and you want something that's a bit easier. But personally, I like more relaxed podcasts where they kind of go off topic a bit more. And one of my personal favorites is called Yu Yu Nihongo Podokyasto. And in this podcast, uh, Yu Yu, he lives in Mexico and he's this really funny guy. And yeah, he has a topic and sometimes he kind of stays on topic, but usually he's kind of meandering off the topic. Um, which is quite funny and he comes up with funny stories. He, he's always trying new things so sometimes he tells like ghost stories, sometimes he talks about history, he does all different sorts of things and I really like his kind of personality, it's quite fun. And one that's quite similar to that which also has a kind of you know a fixed topic but in a more relaxed way, there's also the Real Japanese Podcast with Haruka. Um, she has just moved to Canada, well she's living in Canada at the moment but usually she lives in Japan. And again, she has that same kind of style where she does have a topic, but she's going to go off and she jokes around a bit. And it just sounds like very much like nat more natural Japanese when she's talking. Okay, one more aimed at Japanese learners before I move on to the native level ones. That is Kevin Vin Sleepy Japanese. Uh, he's a half Japanese, half Norwegian guy. He's got a very nice deep voice and uh, sometimes he even sings in the podcast. And yeah, he's again just kind of speaking in a relaxed way and he also gets guests on and has like kind of conversation uh, episodes too, which can be pretty useful to listen to. So check out all those ones I just introduced, see if any of those match with you, see if uh, you find them interesting or if you like them. Like I said, there's a lot and I explained them quite quickly, but it's probably better for you just to check them out yourself and see if you like them or not. So next onto the native level Japanese podcast. These are not aimed at Japanese learners. These are aimed at Japanese people or people that can already speak Japanese. Um, but they're obviously very useful to listen to if you want to get your Japanese to that more advanced, more native level. And even if you're more intermediate level, even if you're not quite there yet, they're still useful to listen to. You can pick up some phrases and I'm going to explain which ones are a bit easier or ones that are a bit difficult. Because even though they're all aimed at native speakers, some of them are a little bit easier to understand. So one that is a bit easier to understand, which I'm going to introduce first, is called uh, Dokuzetsu American Life. Um, and uh, it's often shortened to Doku Ame, it's like that kind of short name. Dokuzetsu means like kind of rough conversation, quite like like talking like too honestly or something. And uh, you know, they live, they live in America. Well, they did live in America. One of them recently just moved back to Okinawa where she's from. And now they do it via, you know, the internet or something. But uh, before they were both living in America. So that's what makes this podcast a bit easier to understand. They're talking at native Japanese level and they're talking to Japanese people who might be interested in life in America but um, I imagine most of you watching this video are Westerners or at least you speak English at a reasonable level that's why you can understand what I'm saying so you probably know about life in America uh, I mean I'm from the UK but you know of course we all watch American movies and stuff so they're talking about life in America which just instantly makes it easier to understand you know when people are talking about stuff in Japan they might talk about some cultural references, some historical references, some references to new media or pop culture or something that you don't know about, and you might just be lost. But because the topic's usually about America, and sometimes they even put in a little bit of English that somebody said in a conversation they had with somebody, then uh, it just makes it quite easy to follow. And they're both quite funny, they're both interesting to listen to. It's uh, a girl who's about 30 and one who's about 50. Um, so they also have like different lives. One of them has a family. The other one's a bit, you know, younger and more, I don't know, free. So like it's kind of interesting to hear their different perspectives on America and like sort of Western culture. And another one, which is one of my personal favorites, is called Donguri FM. And uh, on Donguri, they're just two guys and um, they're just becoming like Osan, you know, they're just becoming like Oji-san. They're getting a bit older um, and they often like talk about sort of like getting older and like there's a, there was a funny episode where they were talking about like not becoming like gross old men they were like oh I sort of need to get my hair cut more these days and stuff you know and I'm 35 so I guess I kind of like relate to these guys a lot 
And they also just talk about a lot of like fun, cheap ways to have fun and stuff like, you know, talking about good places to like go and get drunk or sometimes even like really funny little things like recently they were talking about how comfortable the socks from convenience stores are. So they talk a lot about this like kind of everyday life in Japan and like little things that are going on in like the media and stuff. They're both like bloggers. I think both of them are. One of them is definitely a blogger. I think they're both bloggers. So they sort of like talk about these little trends that are going on and stuff. So it can be very good. And they're both very funny. Um, they do a lot of like little jokes in there as well. Um, and those guys from Donguri, they are、um, seem to be pretty friendly with these girls from Yutotawa. And Yutotawa, the name comes from Yutori Sedai, which is like the kind of millennial generation. So, like the older generation in Japan call the younger generation this Yutori Sedai because Yutori means like、um, kind of like, it, like their life is easy or something. They're trying to say, oh, that generation, they're kind of lazy and spoiled. You know, the same way you get everywhere. Older generations always look down on the younger generations. But these girls are kind of like taking that and kind of owning it and joking and then. They call their thing Yutotawa after Yutori and Tawagoto, which means like relaxed conversation, like just nonsense talk or something. So it's about two young girls that are just chatting about everyday life and stuff. On the description of their podcast, they say、um, it's as if you're eavesdropping on two OL, and OL is like office lady, as they say here.、Um, so they said it's like you're listening to two office working girls、um, in, at the end of the row in Starbucks or something. Um, and you know, I live in Japan and sometimes I do overhear conversations of young girls in Starbucks. And yeah, I think they're being honest. That kind of is what their podcast sounds like. So it's very much a good insight into like everyday Japanese life. A really good one from a newspaper is、uh, the Asahi Shimbun podcast.、Um, so Asahi is a bit more left leaning. If you're of that way, like I am personally, then it's quite a good podcast. And、uh, a good thing about this is there are some news podcasts. There's a lot of news podcasts that are like very serious, just Talking about the news, but Asahi Shimbun podcast is more、um, just relaxed and kind of discussing the news. And there's all different types of programs. There's, you know, they, they have like different episodes each time. Sometimes there's like one that's been recently where they talk to a monk and ask like monks what they think about what's happening in the world and stuff.、Um, there's other ones where they talk about like hip hop culture. That's been a bit of a series recently.、Um, they focus on like issues in Okinawa quite a lot. Um, and they also often talk to journalists who are in other countries. So, actually, the full name of the podcast is、uh, Asahi Shimbun Podcast、uh, News and Ogemba Kara, which is like from the actual place where the thing is happening. So, they speak, it's a lot of like journalists interviewing other journalists who are more in touch with like the topic that they're talking about.、Um, so, if you're into like social issues and politics and world issues and things, it's a really good one to listen to. And one for all of you linguist nerds, which I imagine there are a few of you because you're here studying Japanese. Uh, there's one called Yudu Gengo Gaku Radio. And these guys, they started out、um, with this podcast and on YouTube, and they just suddenly blew up. And like over the last few months, they've got like really popular. They got loads of followers and loads of views on YouTube and stuff now.、Um, and these guys, it's like one guy that studied linguistics.、Uh, he's not like a professor or anything. He just studied linguistics, I think, as his undergraduate. I don't remember if he did like a master's or anything, but he studied、uh, linguistics at university, but he's just really, really into it, like as kind of hobby. And then the other guy is a programmer,、um, so he doesn't know so much about linguistics. I think he's learning more and more as the series goes on. But、so、like I said, this is a podcast and a YouTube、uh, chat, like they upload the same content on both. And personally, I actually usually watch the YouTube videos because it is quite in depth linguistic. Like studies and stuff, it's pretty hard to follow sometimes. So, the YouTube channel is easier because they put like teropu, like they put writing on the screen. So, you know, it's a bit easier to follow.、Um, and like when you can see people and their reactions, it's easier to follow. But there is a podcast too. So, you can listen to that if you want to walk around while you're listening to it. And it's really good because they go really in depth into like language and how languages work. And sometimes they go into like how Japanese is different from other languages, like how it's different from English or something. And those sometimes can give you a little insight into like, oh, I need to start thinking about Japanese in a different way. So it can actually be really useful for your Japanese learning as well sometimes if you're getting to that more advanced level. And another one that kind of has a similar atmosphere to that is just like some, some guys kind of like nerding out on a topic. There's one called Koten Dajio, and that's like all about history. And they, they kind of deep dive into like one history topic for a few episodes usually. 
um, and they look at like a big sort of topic as well. So instead of just looking at like you know one specific person in history, sometimes they sort of look about like there was a whole series on like the history of sex that was really interesting, like about how like sex has been interpreted by societies in different countries and stuff over the years. So yeah, if you're into that kind of thing, Kotendajio uh, is very good. One that I only started listening to recently, which has been really good. If you're into like uh, real crime mysteries and stuff, which I think a lot of people are, it's a very popular thing on YouTube. Uh, if you like to listen to like these weird crimes that happened or these kind of yeah mysterious cases that happened, there's one that's called Samui Bo Radio. Um, and on this podcast, it's uh, one guy and he kind of uh, t tells like a story. So he'll be he'll like begin like saying like I don't know you know in 1986 October blah blah blah. Um, you know, a man was found dead in some place and this is what happened. He sort of like tells the story and he sort of like, I think he does a lot of research when he makes these episodes because he'll pull up stuff like this was found in this thing, blah, blah, blah. So he does a lot of research and he tells the stories really well. And I find like listening to any kind of story is usually quite good when you're studying because it really helps to keep your focus because you sort of like want to know what's going to happen in the end. So yeah, if you like murder mysteries, crime mysteries, uh, that one's really good. So if you're into technology and things like that, then you're in luck because there's lots of podcasts about technology. You know, podcasts are still relatively new in Japan. Like it's quite funny because they've been around for like 15 years or something. But a lot of people in Japan, if you mention podcast, even if you pronounce it with Japanese pronunciation, they won't know what you're talking about and you'll have to explain what podcast is. But obviously, people working in technology and interested in technology, they know what podcasts are. So there are quite a few of them. Uh, this is just a few that I've listened to personally because I'm not that interested in technology, like kind of. So I've listened to them a bit, but here's a few of them. There's one called Rebuild. There's one called Off Topic. And the other one, I forgot, Kaidan is the other one. Um, so there's these three podcasts and they're, all of them are guys, they're all guys and they're all sort of, oh, Off Topic has, is Off Topic has a woman, I think. Like I said, I'm not that interested in technology, so I haven't listened to these ones that much, but if you are interested in technology, these are a few where people are talking about local trends and new things that are popping up and stuff. Uh, just a random one, there's one called No Kano Tane, and that is about farming. Um, so actually they kind of expanded and started talking more about society and stuff like that as well. So at the beginning it was about farming, like they are farmers, it's a man and a woman who are farmers. And uh, I first picked this one up from the Asahi Shimbun podcast, which I mentioned earlier. They featured on there, and then I listened to their podcast and thought it was really good. And yeah, I just like their personalities, quite fun. And yeah, they were talking about farming and stuff to begin with, and they started talking about how agriculture kind of influenced society and stuff like that. And then I think they just kind of spun off from there and started talking about society and all sort of things like that. But yeah, if you just want to listen to what some random farmers talk about in Japan, then yeah, check out those guys. And if you want to listen to some women who are kind of starting to get older, you know, they're kind of middle-aged and you, yeah, you want to listen to them sort of talk about what's that like being a woman, getting older and sort of starting this different lifestyle from when you were young and free and single and things, then there's two like that that, that I know of, there might be more. There's one called uh, Over the Sun and there's one called Chaponto Iko, which is quite a strange name. I, I don't quite understand. I forgot what they said their name meant, but um, I remember like they said they got some letters from listeners, you know, Japanese people who didn't quite understand what their name meant either. So it's not just me. Um, but yeah, these two uh, podcasts, they're both two women talking together and they're, they're quite similar style. They're both quite funny. And yeah, they're both just sort of like talking about like getting older and how their lives are changing and things like that. And it's uh, quite interesting. Okay, and the next three are podcasts that have finished, like they're not making any more episodes, but there's a huge backlog of all of these. They all have like a few hundred episodes and they're just really good. So if you haven't listened to them before, you can go back and listen to all the old episodes because I think they're interesting and they're ones that are really good for learning Japanese too. Um, sometimes I even go back to listen to old episodes again, even though I've listened to them already. Uh, one of them is called Hikibiki, and it's one of the first Japanese podcasts I listened to. I think when I started listening to it, they were actually still making it. Um, and that is like a man and a woman and they're just talking about like recent trends and stuff like that and just the style is just very normal sort of conversation between two people and you know you probably know Japanese has quite different styles of talking between men and women so it's always good to listen to a man and a woman talk at the same time and hear those differences and yeah they're just sort of discussing like local uh, they're just discussing recent trends and things like that it's pretty good and there's another one called Weekly Japan and that was um, sort of about, it was supposed to be 
they were trying to make uh, politics and society, like social issues and things easier to understand. So they were picking up sort of like things that were going on in Japan. That one, I was listening to it while they were doing it. So it was really good because I was also living in Japan. They were saying, hey, you know, at the moment there's this issue in Japan and they're sort of discussing that. Um, but yeah, if you go back and listen to previous episodes, it will still be pretty interesting. Uh, another one, Sando Ichiman, a uh, famous uh, manzai group in Japan, very famous uh, comedy duo. They uh, come from Tohoku, which is where um, there was a huge uh, earthquake and there was a lot of damage. You've probably heard about it. So after that happened, they started a podcast to, even though they're already very, very famous, they, they started a podcast to sort of support the people in that area and sort of like talk about the issues that were going on and stuff like that. Um, and then it just sort of continued for quite a, quite a while, quite a few years, and then they finished recently. Um, I think they actually finished around like the 10th anniversary of, of the incident or something like that. I don't remember exactly, but, uh, yeah, check out that one. They're funny guys. Um, and they're very famous in Japan. So it's probably good to know who they are because everyone in Japan knows who they are. Uh, and one last one that's really good for shadowing, which I probably should have mentioned in the ones aimed at Japanese learners. But if you're into shadowing, there's one called Shiro Kuro Papa. Uh, he has a dog called Shiro and a dog called Kuro. So it's called Shiro Kuro Papa. Uh, Oni shadowing and on his podcast he is specifically aimed at people who want to shadow so at the beginning of the podcast he normally just talks for a while and then he goes like okay I'm going to move on to the shadowing part and then he has a blog and he has a twitter and he puts the transcript on there and he speaks like nice and clearly um, for you to shadow in the recent episodes he's just like said the line once or just a few times personally I really like his older style so if you go back to the very early episodes he would say each word slowly and very clearly and then he would put words in groups and say them together and then like the groups would get longer and longer until he was saying longer sentences and I found if you're like if you really care about pronunciation and you want like really specific like you really want to specifically hear the pronunciation of words and that was really good so check out uh Shirokuro Papa if you're into that kind of thing um and that's all of them that's all the podcasts like I said that's a lot I think there was about 30 um, so if you want to check some of those out, see which one seems interesting to you. Like I said, I didn't want to go into too much detail because it's probably better for you just to listen to them and see which ones you like. Uh, if you thought this was useful, please uh, give me a like. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll be making more stuff about Japan and more about learning Japanese. Um, if there are some podcasts I didn't mention that are really good that you want to recommend to others or to me, I'm always looking for new podcasts. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, or if you listen to any of these already, then uh, let me know what you think about them. And yeah, see you guys all back here next time.